Day 19, Arizona Trail. That is Roosevelt Lake down there. I wasn't a hallucination after that horrible descent and climb to my campsite. So I saw a town on the other hill, so I, I checked my cell signal. And last time I had cell signal, the weather said the high here was supposed to be 896, like 95, 96. And somehow in between then and now, the high is going to be 84. So I got up really early thinking I needed to get down to the lake before noon, but 84 is more manageable. So uh, just working my way down slowly and should be a little bit more of a pleasant day. I still plan to spend um, the heat of the afternoon there. I've got a resupply box. There's a bar. Uh, there's Wi-Fi. So, and then after that is a big, big, big climb. So I'm just, I'm just gonna slowly get there and and hang out and um, hopefully be able to watch the cool sunrise. I've made it to the high point of this section, which means it's gonna be all downhill to Roosevelt Lake, and I've just been kind of going up and down these little hills here and then back here you can kind of you know if you use your imagination um see the that fun canyon i went down and up yesterday uh before i i uh i camped and so it looks like i'm going this way this is the trail and then it's gonna start coming down and then this this big hill i'm gonna kind of go down and around it to the left and then the lake should be somewhere here. So all downhill. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be as steep as, as that canyon yesterday. That was a big surprise. Getting another view of Roosevelt Lake. It's really hazy this morning. I'm not sure what that means, but um, it does feel warm already. And then this is looking back, that canyon and then the hills and and I gotta go down these hills and <laughs> then make it to the lake. But yeah, it does feel warm. I'm hoping that newer forecast of 84 is right. But admittedly, it feels warm already. Getting beautiful views heading down towards the lake. And I knew I was gonna be joining some forest roads, so I was hoping that they would not be as steep as some of those, you know, single track trails. But, whew, goodness, this is a steep forest road. <laughs> So, it's going to be slow going down these two as well. Uh, that means uh, going up the other side when I have to climb up north of Roosevelt Lake. Might be encountering this too, but going uphill. So, that's something to look forward to. The trail dropped me down into Cottonwood Canyon, and I have stopped at Cottonwood Spring. And it seems kind of funny, you know. Uh, stopping to filter water before I'm going basically to a convenience store and a snack shop But that's still five miles away, and I'm totally out of water, and it is a little warm out right now, so I have to filter filter some more spring water uh, Just to get me there It's amazing what a little water will do ever since that spring started to get a lot more um, vegetation and now there's tons of wildflowers even these thistles are starting to bloom still heading down Cottonwood Canyon towards the lake but now we've got some wildflowers and some swarrows I would just also like to point out that I've been playing dodge the thistles all day they are as tall as a person right now and they are sharp and they are leaning all over this trail. And if you brush against it even a little bit, it hurts. So it goes right through, ow, your clothes. Ah, and they, they've been all over the trail. I mean, they've been pretty regular on the trail, but since this morning, they have been very frequent. So this is about as close as I've ever come to stepping on a rattlesnake. You can see the tail right here. Um, this is a big rattlesnake because if, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but in here is part of the body too. 
Oh, it's hard on the camera. Um, but it's sleeping. And I need it to move. Let me see if I can wake him up. Nope. It's either sleeping or dead. I'm not going to poke him, though. Uh, never encountered this problem before. So, I'm going to try to bushwhack around him. Thanks, Snake. Thanks for that. That snake was definitely a jerk, because it was alive. I got it to move a little bit. I got it to like, kind of twitch its tail a little bit, you know, but it didn't move forward. It didn't rattle, and it didn't budge. So I got a couple of scratches from bushwhacking, thanks to Mr. Jerk Rattlesnake. Gosh, so much is preventing me from getting to the bar. There's deadfalls all over this trail too. Slowing, slowing me down. I'm glad I'm not doing this late in the day uh, or in the heat of the afternoon. Uh, still making my way. Well, here's the lake. Getting closer. <sighs> still about 2.4 miles until the turnoff for the marina store. So that's what I'm walking to do. I'm taking a break right now. It's been incredibly frustrating trying to get to this marina store. Uh, I am sweating so much right now. And I mean, you can see the lake from very far off. And what's happening is the trail is now on these forest roads, which are not really roads. I mean, they're wide enough, but like, they're just like, rock slides. There's jumbles of rocks and you know it looked like I was getting really close to the road and really close to the um the lake and then it turned and now I'm going up again and I'm so hot and I've I've been thinking about cold drinks all day and I know they're so close so close but so far away it's frustrating so this is what I'm looking at. I was really, really close to that road down there. And then I had to do this hot climb. And then I'm sitting down right now, but I still have all of this to go. I need to go under those power lines and then like another half mile before my turn. Sorry, I'm crapping up. Ugh. That will probably take me all the way down there. And it's probably a lot of rocks too, so. Not in the best mood right now. I think I'm even more pissed now. I did all of that for nothing. I climbed all the way up to where those second set of telephone poles are. As I saw this Arizona Trail sign and going up, what I didn't see is there is a hidden trail right here to which this sign was pointing to. I did all that for nothing. All right, so this is this is the marina down there. It's over. It's over with anyway. I'm uh, I'm close to my cold drinks. This is the marina store, bar, and restaurant, which hopefully should have my resupply package, cold drinks, and I'm really really hoping a blended cocktail. So a little embarrassing. I had a breakdown. Like, full, like, tears, crying, breakdown. I'm kind of glad it wasn't caught on camera. Um, but I got to the marina, and I saw someone walking in with the, the name Staff, and she said that the marina is closed. The store is closed. Um, but she was able to, to go in and get me my box. Uh, the store is closed because there wasn't any internet. So whatever that means. Um, so... I, all I was thinking about on the way down was a cold drink, a cold drink, a cold drink, a cold drink. And I actually ran out of water on the, um, the wrong turn I took. So I was just like, I gotta make it to the marina. There, there's gonna be something to drink. There's gonna be a cold drink. And, and, um, so she got me the, the package and then she, they don't fill it, let hikers fill up with water there. So she's pointing me towards the water and just the word water. I 
was about to explain myself and just burst out in tears and I was like I was really wanting a Gatorade and just like I made a scene just an absolute scene I couldn't even help myself and I couldn't stop it either and so they actually ran in and got me some like fountain Powerade um, and then let me sit inside which they don't usually let the hikers do um, but yeah I made a I made a super scene and then once I got some Powerade in me and cooled down a little bit I was able to calm down and um, <laughs> everyone felt so sorry for me and, and uh, one of the other staff members actually went and filled up my smart water bottles with cold water so um, I'm sitting here waiting at a, a picnic table across from the empty store I'm going to try to intercept the FedEx truck when it comes because they've got my resupply package and nobody's at the store. So it's been a day. It's been a day. Roadrunner. Hi, Roadrunner. <laughs> I'm just sitting at the Ranger Station Visitor Center uh, journaling and uh, charging my electronics. And while I was journaling, I had a wasp land on me and sting me because of course that happened. But Roadrunner. <laughs> so back on the trail, you can see the sunset casting beautiful light on Roosevelt Lake. Down here is the marina shop with its big open sign there. That's not necessarily true. And just trying to, to complete my goals for today. My goal was to make it to the part of the trail right before the next big climb. Climbing out of Roosevelt Lake, um, climb from like 2,000 something feet to 6,000 feet. So, uh, I want to be at least up in elevation a little bit before the, the heat hits. So that's my goal for tonight. Since I just went up behind a hill and I don't know how much more of that setting sunlight I'll have, I'm going to end the video portion for today. I'm still going to do a little bit of hiking in the night. Uh, it's just too hot in this area. Obviously, since I had that that lovely breakdown earlier. It's too hot in this area to, to hike, so I'm going to be doing some of it during the night and set myself up for that climb and probably do some of that maybe before sunrise tomorrow. So that's where I'm ending it for today. I was kind of curious to see what else could happen, but hopefully the rest of the hike tonight will be uneventful. Yes. Rattlesnake number five. <sighs> Sleeping on the trail. Didn't even notice me. Gonna try to go this way a little bit. But hopefully that's the end of the day. Uh, you can't see the rattle, but you can tell by the, the shape of the head. And it's a pit viper, which uh, has a very specific kind of front of the head.